I breathe every day. I know how to breathe. Yeah. But again, it's the, the nuances of how we breathe, and that is becoming very apparent right now. So your respiratory health and your lung capacity will absolutely affect how well you're going to be getting over the symptoms of COVID should you get it. And the Nobel Prize winner, Louis Ignaro, has mentioned that when we breathe through our noses, we're getting this huge perfusion of nitric oxide. This is this incredible molecule that fights off pathogens, bacteria, and viruses. And he believes that that nitric oxide could be a way of defending us. I'm not going to go out and say, breathe through your nose, you won't get COVID. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying it, it can only help you in defending yourself and keeping you stronger. And it's interesting to me, again, here's some more of the new science of a lost art, that they're now using nitric oxide to treat patients with COVID. So they're, because it is so effective at opening up the lungs and fighting off this foul flu. But what's interesting, again, is that we create our own nitric oxide by nasal breathing. And if we hum, we can increase our nitric oxide 15 fold. So uh, I think you're going to annoy whoever's in the house with you or whoever's in the park if you're humming, but it can only have a benefit. And one, one last thing I'll, I'll say, because I got this question before, is, you know, just a few weeks ago in hospitals, my brother-in-law is an ER doctor. Um, they used to take in patients with COVID and lie them on their backs and sometimes intubate them. And now they've found that's an awful thing to do because when you breathe in, you're not only puffing up your chest, most of the lung expansion happens in your back. So if you're sleeping on your back, you're not able to get those full breaths in. So they found that by simply setting patients up in a chair, having them breathe that way, or having them sleep on their side has a huge effect. And I found it interesting that cardiologists 70 years ago found this exact same thing. He would tape tennis balls on the backs of his patients with, with pneumonia to keep them from sleeping on their back. And then 2000 years ago, Chinese doctors were saying that side sleeping is the way to go. So these patterns just keep repeating themselves over and over. And this is also going to sound very cliched, but you have to get your breathing in check because no matter how much you exercise, no matter how keto or paleo or vegan you are, none of that matters unless you're breathing properly. And yes, I, I realize I have a bit of a slant here because I've been studying breathing for so long, but I had no idea going in how important this was. Um, and now more than ever, and the best part about breathing, it's free. It's open to everyone. You don't need Wi-Fi. Don't need your phone. You need your nose and the will to do this. And uh, the benefits can be very transformative, as I've seen.